Hello, good morning. In this particular section, we are going to discuss numerical related to method of choice. So, first consider this particular problem. Uh, you just observe this problem. Which kind of problem this is? Because this is a hanging truss, so or cantilever truss. In this kind of uh, trusses, we are not required to determine the reactions. Clear? So, what are the basic steps involved to evaluate the internal member forces using method of choice? General steps uh, I will uh, explain now. In step 1, we are going to evaluate the given truss is perfect or not using m equal to j minus r. In second step, generally if uh, the given truss is not cantilever truss or hanging truss, then we are going to evaluate the external support reactions using sigma fx equal 0, sigma fy equal 0 and sigma m equal 0 and in step 3 we are considering E joint when you are considering E joint the condition is at particular joint what you are going to consider only two unknown members are there not more than two unknown members are allowed which means the concurrent force system just like a concurrent forces how many equations of equilibrium we are going to apply only two equations of equilibrium sigma fx equal 0 and sigma fy equal 0. So repeat this particular step for each joint using the condition only two unknown members are present at each joint. Then we have to determine all internal member forces present in a given truss. Okay. Let us see if we consider this particular problem how to solve. So in step 1 we are going to check whether the given truss is perfect or not m equal to j minus r number of members how many member of members one two three four five six number of members when you are considering joint for hanging truss don't consider these two joints clear because it's an fixity is there so it is not possible it's a not hinge clear because of this uh, suspension this is not pin, pin joint so don't consider this as joints only three joints are present in the given truss only three joints are present in the given truss how many reactions I have already told as there is only uh, a continuous built-in support. So we not we need not to determine the support reactions therefore R is 0. So apply to this equation it will become perfect. Clear the given truss is perfect truss. Next step 2 method of choice. So the condition you just see you have to observe each and every joint. If you consider joint C how many unknown members 1, 2, E4. Not possible. I have already cleared the concept. Only two unknown members must be present at joint. If you consider this joint D, if you consider this joint D, how many unknown members? One, two, three. There are three unknown members. It is also not possible. Come to joint E. How many unknown members? One, two. The only possible is consider joint E. Clear? So he, at joint E, there are two unknown members. Clear? So now method of joints consider joint E joint E and also unknown members are assumed to be tension so in uh, last section I have explained what is meant by tension and compression and all tension matla with respect to joint the forces acting away with respect to joint the forces acting away so I don't know the inclination angle I have written 45 how it will become 45 you consider this triangle C D E. Consider this triangle. What is this height of triangle? 2 meter. Exact at mid of the section. Therefore, this is also 2 meter. Totally 4 meter by 2. 2 meter. 2 meter. So, then what it happens? It will become C E D. 4 meter which means 2 meter. So, this is also 2 meter. Height is 2 meter. Therefore, tan theta 2 by 2 theta equals 45 degree. At both angles. Both the angle theta are 45 degree. Clear? In next step, you resolve the inclined forces. How to resolve? You just keep uh, one important thing in your mind, one main important point. Always the inclination, there are two possibilities with respect to x axis or with respect to y axis. Always one point to remember in your mind that is inclination angle is cos theta. Yeah. Now the inclination angle is with respect to x axis therefore FED cos 45 in y axis FED sin 45 similarly for FEC this is FEC cos 45 and vertical FEC sin 45 in case if it is inclined vertical then vertical is cos horizontal is sin 
so always keep one important point in your mind that always inclination angle is cos theta and other is sin theta it's a vice versa don't go in a blind way always x axis is cos theta no always x axis is not cos theta whatever the inclination angle here in this case both inclined with respect to x axis that's why both are cos theta if it is on y axis then y will become cos theta clear so keep in that particular point so this is a free body diagram with respect to joint e next using equations of static sigma v equals 0 sigma h equals 0 use sign convention upward forces are positive downward forces are negative for sigma v equals 0 you observe here for this particular free body diagram apply sigma v equals 0 what happens fvc sin 45 acting upward positive plus fvd sin 45 acting upward positive minus 20 equal 0 see this is the first thing so i have written the first equation based on sigma v equal 0 next i am going to sigma h equal 0 for this i am taking sign convention all horizontal right side forces as positive and left side forces as negative just see the free body diagram minus fvc cos 45 why it is acting left side plus fed cos 45 equals 0 there is only two horizontal forces that's why minus fvc cos 45 plus fed cos 45 equals 0 just observe this is equation number 2 now these two equation 1 and equation 2 will become simultaneous equations using calculators just solve these two simultaneous equation you are getting both the values fec we are getting 14.15 kN fed also 14.15 kN both are positive values hence if you are getting positive value the nature of force is tensile if you are getting negative value the nature of force is compressive in this case both the forces are positive hence both the forces possesses tensile behavior next once i got you just observe the, this problem i got c i got ed now with joint if you consider joint c once again there are three unknown members c a c b c d not possible go to joint d this is known now ed is known the only unknowns are c d and d b so hence it is possible clear hence it is possible now i am considering joint d so joint d what you have to do you have to see that what is ed 14.15 tensile right so now when you are coming to ed so it is tensile it is tensile 14.15 the angle is 45 degree you know that how whatever the angle here 45 degree the same angle here 45 degree clear so you resolve this 14.15 cos 45 14.15 sin 45 next here 10 kN is given 5 kN is also given these are two unknown members fcd and fbd we are assuming as tensile we are assuming as tensile now for this free body diagram join d apply equations of static sigma v equals 0 and sigma h equals 0 apply sigma h equals 0 then minus fcd plus 10 minus 14.15 cos 45 equals 0 then you are getting fcd equals 0 clear if you solve this you are getting fcd value as 0 next you take sigma v equals 0 for this all upward forces are positive all downward forces are negative how many upward forces are there at joint d 1 2 3 out of 3 2 forces are acting positive direction and one force acting in negative direction right here plus fbd plus 5 minus 14.15 sin 45 you are getting fdb value as minus 5 kN minus indicates compressive nature next similarly consider joint c the only joint remaining so here we already determined in previous case that is fcd is 0 this is also determined in first joint e that is 14.15 tensile that's why i am representing away and also the angle is 45 degree how to determine this angle for this angle consider this rectangle part a b c d out of which the horizontal is 4 meter and the height is 3 meter given in the problem apply tan theta tan theta equal 3 by 4 theta equal tan inverse of 3 by 4 we are getting 36.87 
they are here two inclined forces resolve this always inclination angle is cos theta therefore fcb is unknown this is the unknown member unknown member forces are assumed to be tension this is also unknown member this is also assumed to be tension clear so it's a tensile this is a tensile just resolve in two direction here also resolve in two direction this is the free body diagram for this free body diagram once again apply sigma v equal 0 and sigma h equal 0 if you apply sigma v equal 0 what happens plus fca plus fcb sine 36.87 and minus 14.15 sin 45 and minus 10 there are four vertical forces which is equal to 0 sum of those forces which is equal to 0 you are getting one simultaneous equation next apply sigma h equal 0 what happens plus all right side forces are positive and all left side forces are negative fcb cos 36.87 and this is already 0 and plus 14.15 cos 45 only two forces two horizontal forces see if you apply you are getting fcb value so you are getting negative hence it is compressive same apply sigma v you are getting one equation substitute this fcb value here you are getting FCA value get as tensile. Clear? Next, tabulate the result. Joint member nature tensile or compressive. Right? All nature of forces. Finally, representation. Representation is very simple with respect to joint. For an example, say here ED is tensile. Tensile matlab you come to ED. Where is ED? Here ED. Tensile means with respect to this joint and this joint. This is tensile away from the force, away from the force. Uh, similarly, if you take uh, one more thing, let's say compressive, CB. Compressive 12.5. What is CB compressive 12.5? Just observe the CB. With respect to both the joint, inwards, inwards. Because towards joint is compressive 12.5. Similarly, represent for all the forces. Let us move on to second problem. Determine the internal member forces using method of joints. In this, it's a very, very important problem. The very first step is say, always a data a perfect press. Don't worry. If you check m equal to j minus r, it holds. Okay. Next, you determine the external support reaction using e three equations of equilibrium. Sigma h equals 0, sigma v equals 0, and sigma m equals 0. Using these equations, compute VA value. VD value and HD value. It is step one or step two. Next, consider each joint. The joint should by method of joint, the joint should have two unknown members. You have to observe each joint. If you consider this joint A, two members, it is possible. If you consider joint D, once again two. So both A and D is possible. So you can start with A or D, no problem. Here in this particular case, I have start with joint A. Okay. So, I have evaluated using this triangle, just theta value, I have substituted here and resolved the inclined forces into horizontal and vertical component and I have applied two equations of static, sigma fx equals 0 and sigma fy equals 0 and I have computed the nature of forces. Similarly, you have to apply for all joints, this is joint B, similarly joint F, okay, so you have to solve each joint up to Determine all member forces and represent the forces in tabular format here and finally represent the forces. How to represent? We already know that. Consider say for an example AB. If AB compressive 24.24, matlab AB compressive means at each joint the forces acting towards the joint. Here. So acting towards compressive. Similarly, BF is tensile means acting away from the joint. Acting, the forces are acting away from the joint T matlab tensile 20.16. Similarly, write all the values and represent the forces in the truss. Okay, this is regarding method of joints. Please follow the instructions carefully. Okay, solve number of problems. And if you're having any doubts, please get back to me. Here, thank you.